Welcome to Sage Audio. Today, we're looking at the top nine mixing effects. But first, if you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us at sageaudio.com to receive a free mastered sample of it. Parallel Aggressor by Baby Audio. If you watch these videos, you know I use FabFilter plugins a lot, but I'm limiting myself to just one on this list so that we can focus on some other great mixing effects. First is Parallel Aggressor, which is amazing on percussive instruments due to how it distorts. The spank function is great for increasing the transient, especially of a kick, to make it cut through a mix. Heat is a great sounding saturator, but in my opinion, the first function is what makes this plugin special. Let's take a listen to it. Abbey Road Vinyl by Waves Audio. This emulation of Abbey Road Slave has probably the most character of any plugin that I've used. TG Desk instantly offers some great sounding compression, whereas the various needles, tables, and cartridges give you versatile timbres. We can introduce noise, various forms of distortion, and slow down for a creative effect. The tone arm is also a really cool touch since it mimics how highs are attenuated and more distortion occurs towards the center of a record. Let's take a listen to it. If you're enjoying the video, consider hitting the like button. It really helps us bring you more videos. Snare Buzz by Track Spacer. This one seems like an odd choice, but it's one of a kind and has a lot more applications than you might think. It introduces snare buzz whenever an instrument plays, so if you put it on a bass track, the snare buzz triggers when the bass is played. This emulates the two instruments being in the same room, since this would happen if a bass guitar or synth played in a room with a drum set. But the true value of this plugin, in my opinion, is adding high frequency stereo content to low frequency mono signals. Like Asperity on the tape machine, this plugin dynamically expands these instruments in a frequency specific way. Let's take a listen. Zener Limiter by Softube. Back to more traditional plugins, the Zener Limiter applies fantastic sounding compression and limiting, best suited for mixing rather than mastering applications. I personally like the total harmonic distortion dial, which makes adding character to the signal much easier than with some other similarly designed plugins. Granted, this won't sound as good as the hardware that it's based on, but it gives us a convenient and much more affordable way to access the characteristics of this amazing compressor. Let's listen to it on some drums. Trem Control by Good Hertz. This is a great plugin for guitar tremolo or maybe some reverse sounding wave-esque effects. It really inspires you to take some creative risks when you're mixing. I think I'm using an older version of this plugin, but the features seem about the same as the newer one. On the left, we can control the tremolo rate. In the middle, we control the shape of the modulation itself. And to the right, we control the harmonics and overall tone. And we can access an advanced section to create some awesome stereo effects. Let's listen to it on a delayed guitar.
only a small percentage of the people that watch our videos are subscribed, so if you're enjoying the video, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. Speakers by Audio Thing. This plugin combines impulse responses with distortion, compression, a filter, and noise to give you an incredibly quick and easy way to add a lot of character to a signal. The first response is a microphone, the second is a speaker, which in and of itself sounds awesome. But then we can introduce specific distortion types and other processors to create truly unique sounds. If you're a fan of creative plugins like this one, check out one that they made called Wires, which emulates some of the first reel-to-reel -reel recording devices. Let's take a listen. Prefet by Ascentize. Prefet is a simple plugin design-wise, and it's free, so you may think to just download it but never really use it. However, this plugin has surprisingly realistic FET emulation. The company that designed it used machine learning to accurately recreate the output of a transistor preamp. It's easy to use, sounds great, and doesn't take up much CPU, so it's perfect for mixing. Let's take a listen. There's something about you I don't like, 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 yeah Ooh, yeah Something about you I don't like, 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 yeah There is something about you I don't like, 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 yeah Huh, hey Something about you I don't like, 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 yeah if you're interested in advanced mixing and mastering videos, custom plugin presets, and more, join and become a member, and if you change your mind, you can always cancel anytime. Pro R by FabFilter. The Pro R has become the main reverb plugin that I use when mixing because it sounds fantastic and offers options you don't normally find on other reverb plugins, like the EQ section. I also enjoy being able to determine frequency-specific decay rates, modulation, and other important functions. The plugin is both innovative while easy to understand, which isn't too common of a combination. Let's take a listen. Dragonfire by Denise. Last up, Dragonfire lets you quickly combine emphasis, de-emphasis compression and distortion, along with peak and RMS detection. The EQ up top determines the signal going into your compressor and is automatically compensated for. Then you have your traditional compressor controls and a clipper. I like how I get a pre-emphasis compression sound without needing to use multiple plugins. Let's take a listen to it. If you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us at sageaudio.com to receive a free mastered sample of it. Also, join and become a member for exclusive advanced videos, future plugin presets, samples, midi packs, and more. Thank you so much for watching.